First of all, I would like to say thank, thanks to everyone who's come out here today to join in in this celebration and the renaming or actually the naming of the floor for someone who deserved it, who gave his time, his life for Jefferson Parish recreation and particularly park playground. His impact certainly has been great upon this community and so today we are here to celebrate that. Before we get started, we always start these events off with Pledge of Allegiance, and so at this moment, I'm, I'm asking Mr. Zeke's two grandsons, Josh and Wesley, to please come and join me in reciting our Pledge of Allegiance. Thank y'all. Again, this is uh, a wonderful day. The weather is beautiful. The temperature in here is very good and it's a beautiful place to be at this moment for this occasion to honor his work and his legacy that, as I said before, is continuous. And by the mere fact that we're, we are naming this floor after Zeke Muir is quite an accomplishment. I grew up playing ball in recreation during the same period of time when he was serving Jefferson Parish as both a volunteer as well as a coach. And I remember the days when I played at Johnny Jacobs and we came and we played basketball games here and I'll never forget it because recreation is just a part of my foundation. It's just a part of who I am and it contributed to my success and to many people in Jefferson Parish who participated in recreation, their success. And so, I love paying homage to those who came before our youngsters and who were here during my era, but also the era of many others who gave back to the lives of many of our young kids and provided that foundation that was needed for them to learn that through sports, it became brotherhood, it became uh, our, uh, a place where you learned how to get along with people became a place where you learned how to socialize and also more than any, anything else you learned togetherness and that's what you learned through sports and the mere fact that we're again celebrating this day it, it, it's it's an exemplary moment Bef without further ado I'd like to introduce Mitch Meir who's Zeke's son and I like to read this proclamation to him. And it reads, Jefferson Parish Council Proclamation, whereas Coach John Zeke Muir was a founding member of Port Booster Club in the 1960s and served as a Booster Club second president. And whereas he was inducted into the Port Booster Club Hall of Fame in 1997. And whereas he was employed by the Jefferson Parish Recreation Department from 1979 to 1983 as a supervisor at Belterre Playground and helped implement an adult sports program for West Bank residents. And whereas his passion and his love of sports led him to volunteer as a coach, umpire, and mentor for 40 years. And whereas he dedicated his time to coach the girls JPRD West Bank Biddy teams and JPRD West Bank Bells and Debs softball teams for many years. And he volunteered as a coach of the Ellender Middle School girls basketball team after retirement. And whereas he positively impacted the lives of hundreds of youths throughout the years, 
of his devoted coaching at Pard Playground, and whereas, therefore, it is entirely appropriate that this council, on behalf of the citizens of Jefferson Parish, dedicate the basketball court inside this very gymnasium in his honor. Now, therefore, be it resolved by Jefferson Parish Council of Jefferson Parish, Louisiana, acting as governing authority of said parish, that this council hereby dedicates the basketball court here today at Park in Marrero to the memory of John Zeke Meir in honor of his outstanding contributions to the community. Please give it a round of applause. I'd like to, like to start off by, by thanking the, the council for this declaration, especially Councilman Byron Lee and his staff for pushing forward this and, and getting it through the council. We appreciate, we really appreciate it. Thank you, council. I'd also like to take a, take a minute to thank uh, Jer Jerry Buzz Constant for his contribution here. And standing over here was his idea to get this started and to see it through completion. And uh, thank you, Buzz. Just, um, just take a moment to introduce everybody that's here, the family members that are here. Um, it's Monica Meir, that's my sister Monica. Um, got my, my dad's brother and sister-in-law, Pappy and Bobby Meir, are here. And um, I have my, my two sons, Wesley and Joshua. Um, Wesley's wife, Kathy, is here somewhere. There she is and my youngest son, Josh, and, and uh, granddaughter, Dana, Dana Hotar, and our husband, Clint. Uh, so I'd like to, like to um, just acknowledge that they're here and respect to their grandfather. Um, coach Zeke, he liked to be Coach Zeke. Um, the only thing he liked being called more than Coach Zeke is Papa. Papa was probably his favorite thing, but to be, coach, to be called Coach Zeke, by a 10-year-old or a 50-year-old that came back to see him and saw him and, and walked up and said, Coach Zeke, do you remember me? And most of the time he said, no, I sure don't, until he heard the name and then he usually remembered it. He had a good memory once, he, but when you see this 40 years difference in face, it's hard to, hard to see him. Um, he, coached for, he coached here at Pard Playground for almost 40 years. He was, he was able to coach his three children and his three grandchildren. He got to coach all three, all three of his grandchildren here. Um, just, a, just a great thing for him to do. Said he, he just, he loved coaching. That was his, one of his favorite things. Didn't matter if it was a uh, West Bank Biddy team or Bell's team or six-year-old girls basketball team. Didn't matter at all. It was all the same to him. He just loved to do it. Um, in addition to his coaching and all his time he spent here at Pard Playground, I think the biggest impact he had here at Pard Playground and Jefferson Parish Recreation West Bank was the girls program. His impact came in the girls program. He was able to, he was here when it started, when Pard Playground, when Pard was just an idea in somebody's head. So let's put together an organization where kids can come and play. Just also we have something organized. And um, he had having two daughters. He wanted to have his daughters have that opportunity also. So he battled with the internal. He would part with the with the pioneers that are up on that list up there to to start a girls program. They had a hard time at Immaculate Conception. Once they moved to visitation, the girls program started to grow. They had Thursday Thursday night was girls night at visitation. Once they got to visitation. They had Thursday night, girls' program had its own night. Then they were able to get volleyball going, track and field, finally basketball in the late 70s. Um, he was, that was his, his leading thing. Once they got to this facility here, the girls' program just, just blew up, became one of the biggest and best programs in Jefferson Parish. And, uh, thanks to this guy sitting right here, Mr. Cliff, 
it continues today to be one of the biggest and best and most successful girls programs in Jefferson Parish. Um, Park Playground, as I said before, he was involved when it, in its infancy. It was here when it, when it first started. He, kept, he stayed here all the way until, and for almost 40 years, he was involved here. Um, Park Playground, I feel what Park Playground to him meant. Park Playground was family. That was first, it was family. We all, we were, our family was here. Not only our family, there's a lot of other people sitting in the stands here that knew him that were part of the Pard family. Pard Playground was also friends. It was family, friends, passion. The passion for Pard Playground is still there, but in, in his days, the passion for Pard Playground, it, it was hard to describe. It was, it was just, like being a, just like being a family. It was, the passion was so great. It's also fun. Pard Playground, this was, this is where they had, this was their social life. There was no social media, nobody running home to watch TV. Your family was here. There was no, fa you didn't have to run home to watch a TV family. You didn't have to get, go home to watch heroes on TV. The heroes were right here. My heroes are on that paper, on that list up there. Those were the heroes I grew up with. And lucky to say my dad was one of them. You know, I believe my father loved every minute he was here at Park Playground. I don't think he, I don't think he regretted one moment that he spent here. I believe this was this is what he was, this is what he was put on earth to do to coach bat, to coach sports and deal with children and help run this organization. And he, I believe he did a great job of it. I'd like at this time again to thank to thank the council and Councilman Lee and the Recreation Department for giving back some of that love to our family and dedicating this court to in the memory of my dad's name. And I thank you again. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Danielle, uh, who's uh, with our parish president's office, and she, along with her staff and our camera crew, uh, as well the uh, recreation department and others in Jefferson Parish for helping make this event a successful one. Uh, we are always calling on them to help us to have events of this nature, and they always perform superbly. I'd like to also say that uh, you can call upon me in my office at any time for anything that you all may need that week, and we will, for whatever we can do, we will do. I've had a history with supporting the Booster organization back here when the Booster Club needed uh, new equipment in the kitchen. Uh, we provided that when there was a need for resurfacing on the tennis courts. We did that as well, and we have other things planned. And so we will continue to do the type of things that we believe is important to ensure that PARD is, uh, remains uh, one of the most uh, primary parks and, and beneficial uh, places for recreation to continue to grow and, 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 and make an impact on children's lives. Thank you all very much, and now is the time to cut the ribbon.